we have some unfinished business. We did some really good things last year, and, and I'm very pleased with the uh, progress and the direction that we're going in, but we're nowhere near where we need to be to help this football team win a lot of games, and that's one of the reasons I'm really excited about Stan. Our two young kickers, punter, you know, our, our young guys have to improve uh, year two. Um, some of the things that maybe not allowed to happen, but, you know, we didn't get on them as much, uh, you know, maybe hitting a, a subpar punt or missing a PAT and that sort of thing, which are obviously unacceptable. You know, we got to make sure that stuff doesn't happen again. So we're going to be more consistent. Uh, we're going to be stronger. We're going to be, you know, uh, you know, better at kicking PATs and field goals, better at situational punting. Our return game's got to improve immensely. I think we've got a long way to go there. Um, I think our two young returners did a good job. Our two running backs did a good job last year for us for the most part. Whether we continue to uh, get them to develop or we bring in new uh, return men, uh, that remains to be seen. But at the end of the day, we have to improve as a return unit as well. So there's a lot of um, uh, factors that need to improve. Coverage as well. Punt, punt coverage at the beginning of the year was not very good. We got better as the year went on. Kickoff coverage was good pretty much the whole year. Uh, but we can still get better in that regard as well. So, you know, we have to take advantage of our venue. We have to take advantage of our stadium. We have to, we have to not miss PATs into the dog pond end. We got to make everything. We have to uh, make, you know, make sure our opponents miss into that end, like we've talked about before. Uh, so I'm excited about where we're at, but I'm really excited about the future. You've got a, a bunch of players that I'm sure are, you know, shell shocked and bewildered after, you know, everybody. This thing was kind of blown up after a year. So, mm -hmm. what role can you play in kind of? getting these guys on board with everything and rolling? Well, the first thing is a lot of our coaches have already come into my office and asked about their position players because they know I know the whole team. So they've come ask me about the DBs, the linebackers, the D-line, the, the, you know, the uh, wide receivers, et cetera. And I think I've eased that transition from the coaching staff per, per, uh, perspective. But in terms of the players, I'm just going to be who I am. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to, you know, what Kevin's message is going to permeate down to the coaching staff and to the rest of the team. I'm going to deliver that message. I'm going to support that message. And I think when we do that and we're all on the same page, we're all on board with the same program, that we're going to be in good shape. Uh, what can you say about uh, what you think will happen here in terms of structure, discipline, organization, mm -hmm. attention to detail, and things like that? Well, I think, you know, any good program, any good locker room has attention to detail. It has discipline. It has accountability. And I know those things are, you know, Kevin will emphasize and we'll all support him in that, obviously, and, and we'll go forward from there. I think the big thing that I like is that coaching is teaching. We've talked about that before. And great coaches are great teachers. And I think we've assembled a, a good staff of the guys that I know are really good teachers. And, and the guys that I don't know as well, I hope that's the case, and I'm sure it is, or we would, they wouldn't be here. Uh, so I am excited about seeing the growth of the staff and the growth of the team under this new staff and you know like I said before the sky's the limit. What did you specifically learn about Joe Woods those